Show show. I'm your host, Murray Newlands. In this show, we're going to be looking at industries to look at, and customers to look at in a recession and how to recession-proof your business. When you decide to become a CEO, the world changed. You can either crash and burn or you can build an amazing company. We are here to give you the knowledge, advice, skills, and expertise to build that amazing company. So how should we look at the recession that's coming and what should we think about? Well, in 2009, unemployment in the US went up to 10%. And there are a number of cycles that we can look at. So what you think you need to do is to look at who your potential customers are and what sectors do well or at least continue to survive and have revenue in the recession. What you need to do is to think about what are recession-proof industries and how you can start to service those recession-proof industries. There are many different things to think about. Think about your expense as an individual. Where does your money go? And what money can you cut back? And what money do you have to keep spending? And where you have to keep spending is where you should look at trying to find customers in a recession. So which are those industries? Well, critical repairs and maintenance. If your roof has a leak and there is a recession, you still have to repair that leak. If there is a fire, you still have to have someone make that repair. If your car needs a new tire, you still need a new car tire. Yes, you might be doing more, less miles. Some people might be doing less miles, some people might, might be doing more miles. But for example, people will still need to change tires. Public sector, workers, local government, national government still carries on. Those sectors such as electricity, such as sewage, uh, all the government functions still need to carry on and the government is still a massive buyer of goods and services. So government contracts, local government contracts, local government services are still needed. And in fact, some government services such as dealing with unemployment actually increase during the recession. Mandated services. So where there's a law that says you have to do, do this, you still have to do it. You still have to file your tax returns. Accountants are still needed. You still need to, uh, for example, there are many uh, uh, mandated inspections, mandated car inspections, mandated uh, gas line inspections, mandated electricity line inspections. There are many different mandated things. Uh, you still have to service your uh, different equipment. All of those mandated things where there's a government law that says you have to do them, they're all still things that will grow fast in a recession, or at least maintain in a recession. Also things that provide staple items. One of the things we've seen a lot of panic buying of toilet rolls, for example. Well, in a recession, yes, it's harder for people to get to the store. And yes, actually when unemployment numbers skyrocket, it may be harder for you to buy items. But people still need to buy food. They might not be buying as much luxury food. They might not be eating out as much, but they still need to go to the grocery store. So grocery store sector tends to weather recession reasonably well. The same with Pizza Hut. Um, pizzas are cheap, staple food, and actually during a recession, Pizza Hut, for example, tends to do pretty well. So think about those industries that do okay, they, where you have to spend money. Food and beverage. The whole sector of food and beverage tends to uh, uh, weather recession pretty well. And in fact, candies uh, tend to do very well in recession. The last recession, 2008 recession, candies uh, did really well. Why? Well, comfort food. Comfort food does well in a recession. Cheap comfort food. Candy is a cheap comfort food. 
they tend to do really well in a recession. Cookies do well. All those kind of really easy comfort foods. Sadly, alcohol, alcoholism tends to increase in a recession. So beverage companies, alcohol companies tend to do well. People don't buy as many used things, but they buy used things. So also the consignment industry tends to do well in a recession. Everywhere where people are buying discount cheap things, those stores also tend to do well. Why? Well, because people are cutting back. At the same time, retail space comes down. So actually those uh, stores that sell things really cheaply, there's more demand, people are more, are more likely to be looking for cheaper things and rents tend to come down. So on average, those stores tend to do reasonably well in hard times. Now, as people are working from home, uh, the IT sector can also do well. Beware of the IT sector servicing small uh, businesses and startups, because small businesses and startups as a whole will suffer. However, now we're all working from home, uh, working from home, think uh, IT security, think video conferencing, think, think all of the things around that. Right now I have my laptop, uh, I have it up on a stand, even things like that, the tools that help it make it easy for you to work at home, all of those things will be doing well as people are working from home, more and more people are working from home. So I think all of a sudden lots of people are working from home. What will they need while they're working from home? Actually the demand for office furniture, home office furniture, you could see spiking and staying pretty high as more and more people are working from home. So also healthcare, clearly, we are now in a health crisis. Uh, there's gonna be obviously more demand for uh, doctors, but also there are gonna be a lot of people who are ill. And yes, people will uh, survive the virus, but some of those people will be left with longer term health conditions. And so there'll be more and more demand for people in the health industry. The health industry as a whole tends to do really well, uh, during or comparatively well during a recession, people still get ill and still need uh, to be looked after. And I'm predicting that the health services market will is a good sector for you to look at. Another thing is repairs. People tend to buy less houses. They tend to stay where they are. They tend to want to get things fixed rather than buying new things. In fact. Uh, in the last recession, the automotive repair industry uh, seemed to do well because we were all buying less new cars and keeping the old cars, which reminds me, the car industry, buying new cars. For the last few years, people have been buying more and more cars that have started to slow down. And I'm predicting that, that the automotive, in, automotive industry as a whole outside the repair industry will be really tough for a while to go come. Cleaning. Uh, I've met a number of startups in the cleaning space, dealing with cleaning services. I think luxury cleaners, home cleaners will be down. People will want less of those. There'll be less cleaning uh, right now in office spaces, in uh, hotels, etc. But I'm predicting that as soon as we come back to work, uh, particularly given the illness, uh, factories, hospitals, Offices are going to want to be cleaner than ever. So I'm predicting that luxury cleaning of luxury apartments is going to be down. On the other hand, um, in the short term, on the other hand, those people who can afford cleaners are going to want to keep everything clean, super clean. And offices, for example, which casually wanted someone to change the bins and maybe wipe the windows occasionally, will actually want to keep their offices a lot cleaner uh, restrooms will want to be cleaner, communal areas will want to be cleaner. And so I'm predicting a spike in demand for cleaning services and cleaning products and all kinds of additional cleaning things that will be increasingly needed. So think about uh, the cleaning industry as a good industry to look at in a recession. 
we still need to be clean and I think we're going to want to be even cleaner in the uh, short term. I'm Aaron Jungs. You're listening to the How To See Your Show. Hopefully you're also watching it on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing. If you like it, please share and I will see you next time.